right, we are back with the hands-on challenge. So this is our challenge. Subscribe to a platform event in an Apex trigger. So basically we are going to do what the trail has been showing us, but on a different event, an order event trigger. So create an Apex trigger named order event trigger for order event. Okay, order event trigger. So let's go ahead and head on to our trailhead playground our trailhead playground and i'm going to launch our developer console here and we are going to create a new trigger so this is from the previous trail close that up and file new apex file new apex trigger boom this is the name order event trigger so it would be on order event o so it's o o o o order o there we go order event e okay submit boom trigger order event trigger on order event after insert did it say if it's after insert before insert after um create an apex trigger name that this trigger will be similar to the cloud news trigger but operates on the other event e and creates tasks instead of cases okay it doesn't mention so let's go ahead and check the example on the trail which is somewhere up here that's the test for the trigger um here trigger cloud news trigger on cloud news e after insert all right so i'm just gonna copy this and then let's modify it together go back here so it's order event trigger okay so i'm gonna copy paste but then change this to order event trigger on order event e and we don't want to play with cases what we want to do here is play with tasks so we are going to create a new task task is what task is an activity so we are going to create an activity on there okay so if the order has shipped so event has shipped equals true create a task with the following values okay so let's copy this it's a really good hint <laughs> so if um if event triggers order trigger or shipped is true and we have to change this of course order trigger uh, not order trigger what event order order event event e right if it's true let us create a new case get q id for case owner we don't even need this stuff boom delete boom list of activity okay is it activity new list of activity my bad <laughs> it's task list of task okay list of tasks so list of tasks let's call this tasks new list of tasks and then create task just create a task basically task ts new task 
and then we are going to copy priority medium subject is that owner ID is that so let's do the priority first medium subject is oops follow up I'm just gonna copy this thing here that would be the subject boom cs dot subject actually equals follow up on shipped order event order number c and then the owner id is event created by id okay Oh yeah, it's actually TS because it's a task, not a case. We just rename that, right? Tasks dot add TS, and then insert the tasks. So it's a very straightforward trigger. So on an insert of this order event. We create a task, we just loop through it. If it's shipped, create a task and define all the properties there. And then Bockify, insert the tasks. Save. I think that's it. And it doesn't ask for us to create a test for the trigger. So we can go ahead and get our 500 points now. Boom. So we are pretty much done with platform events. I will see you on the next module on the developer intermediate. Bada bing, bada boom. Woohoo! New badge. Hit that subscribe button and explore new trailhead grounds and learn to implement the most useful and popular apps on the Salesforce App Exchange. And do yourself a favor, like this video, and you'll be surprised on how much more you understand when watching this same video after liking it. Don't take my word watch this one more time after you like the video and see it for yourself bada bing bada boom